the extremists gathering supporting the ladies blaming President Trump for rape have been uncovered getting cash from George Soros. On Monday, the ladies required a congressional examination concerning the president's claimed offense, expressing they need responsibility and an examination by Congress of sexual wrongdoing. Be that as it may it has been uncovered that George Soros, the globalist very rich person surely understood for his gifts to Black Lives Matter and the a huge number of dollars he put resources into Hillary Clinton, is drawing genuine money into their battle, bringing up major issues about what they truly need. Utilizing a media organization called Brave New Films as a front, Soros has been infusing icy, hard money into the battle by the ladies to unseat the president. For what reason do ladies addressing the media and requesting congressional examinations require huge interreddies of cash? The Daily Wire gives some foundation information about the Soros front, Brave New Films. The gathering behind this undeniable new endeavor to compel Trump out of the White House, Brave New Films, is a non-benefit 501c3 association that cases to be non-factional a claim that winds up noticeably bizarre upon a survey of their benefactors and accomplices which incorporate left-wing hit bunches like Media Matters for America and Democracy for America. Overcome New Films guarantees that they don't explicitly advocate for the race or annihilation of contender for open office, an announcement that isn't even remotely precise taking a gander at only a portion of the publicity-style recordings they made, including Stand Up, Senate the president-elect is a wolf in sheep's clothing. Protect public education, stop Betsy DeVoe. Indivisible, a practical guide for resisting the Trump agenda. Getting Donald Trump off NBC's SNL. One of Brave New Film's contributors is Open Society Foundations, a radical association whose originator and director is George Soros, who has given over $32 billion to subsidize the Open Society Foundations which work in more than 100 nations around the globe. It has turned out to be clear there is genuine cash to be made in blaming President Trump for activities that could conceivably observe him expelled from office. It has likewise turned out to be clear where that cash is originating from. Look no more remote than George Soros. Bill O'Reilly has additionally gone on record talking around a soundtape in which a hostile to Trump individual offers a lady a genuine money-related reward to blame Trump for badgering. O'Reilly, there is a tape, Beck, a soundtape of a hostile to Trump individual offering $200,000 to a lady to blame Donald Trump for untoward conduct. Beck, is this tape going to be discharged? O'Reilly, I may need to go to the U.S. attorney myself. I don't want to need to do that and infuse myself into the story, however I had my legal advisor tune into the tape. He's tuned into it. There are no less than three wrongdoings on the tape. So as a national, I may need.